All right, I think we are good. Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Make Way for Cat. Just adjusting my music here. Okay, and I'm pulling up my board dock here. This is all the fish we're working on. And... I can see my chat. of these guys. Oh, the other way. No, the other way. This is much harder to do when you're stuck with the D-pad. to go. Oh, let's grab these. We'll finish making our bait and then we'll get on the ocean. So I originally started with needing 35. Um, I'm actually down to 34 because I had started to do some prep work. One of the things I know I need. No, we're done. We're done. Eight. There we go. Uh, done. Okay. One of the things I realized I needed were crabs, and you get those with crab pots. Very similar to how it works in Stardew Valley. So I got a bunch of those last night. Um, and I ended up catching one of the fish I didn't have, which was a red, red lobster. Did I go buy it? Yeah, I did. Ah, oh, I did it wrong. There is an auto-cook feature with this. I'm so used to just clicking it. And I've been playing Animal Crossing, so now my buttons are in reverse. Auto-cook, it's up there. trade this for some larger bait. I have quite a bit. I have like a hundred. But I don't want to need any when we're out there. still need quite a bit of the small bait. So we'll go with that. There, now we're about even. So what I'm going to start doing is put down the crab pots where I need to. I got 20. Um, we do have some money now. Let me go check to see if we can get any more. the show on the road, or on the sea. So we're gonna start by putting crab, crab pots down. Zooming way out. Get out of the bay itself. Here is probably good. Red drop. 
Um, as far as bay crabs go, we have a medium, a medium, and I didn't write down what these were, but I think they are also mediums. We're gonna stick to just the high level bait. So you see how, the... did I just pick that up? Up another one. Um, I'm gonna put down five in each location because I have 20. And they need to sit for like 24 hours. See how it's like a white on the top? You also see it bubbling as well. And they show up on the map. There's four. And five. Okay. So looking at my word doc again. Have it highlighted here. So our bay ones, we're looking for these guys. They're kind of, uh... I shortened them, so like the chomp shrimp. I don't know what the full name is. Now we have one in the glaciers we'll go get. We'll head over to the hot springs, which I'm gonna drop those all right inside the door where the thermal geysers is. And then we'll head over to astral cloud. The astral cloud will drop our crab pots and then we'll look for these other ones because as few times as I can go in and out of astral cloud, I'd rather because navigating that place is so hard. Okay, so, there's our crab pots all dropped. We need to come out here. Somewhere in here, I think we'll go. We need to go north. Yeah, straight north and a bit to the east. sure we're in like deep water and this looks pretty deep to me back up a little bit okay we're only looking for like one lobster here as opposed to like astral cloud which we've got a lot I think I'll only put three of these down Let's head over to Thermal Geysers. Going south, we actually want to go west a bit. Let's check in here. Yep, we're going to go straight east until we hit the wall. And then we're going to go south. Straight east. wall here soon because I see sonar and there we are and we're just gonna drop these right in the door here
Now for the next place, we're gonna go back through this door and we're just gonna hug the wall until we get up there, until we get to the astral cloud. The wall will change over to like a light blue. And that's how we know we're close. Just like that. So it'll be right over here. And we're in. This is where steering gets really tricky. This feels like deep water here, so go ahead and back up a tick. Okay. get further in one of the fish I need is actually on the icy wall which is right outside and that's the gingerbread barracuda so we'll go ahead and drop this one and I think I have a couple extras we're gonna drop in here too nope nope I don't wanna a look. I have items. I have three crab pots left. Pull up this uh, word doc here. Yeah, a lot of them are here. So, I'm gonna keep dropping them. take a look so we're here we need to come back down through here a lot of crab pots down here Just like this. Back up just a little bit. Let's take a look. Um, the gingerbread barracuda. Icy wall. He's number 19 on my list, which I have a written list here that has all the... Okay, so he's a large fish, so we definitely need the big bait. Poise and plug. And he's in deep water, so... Back here is good. We're gonna need the poise and the poise rod and the plug lure. Poise rod, plug lure, high bait. And let's uh oh line fishing. That's right, I haven't tried line fishing yet. But I guess this is the best way to catch a bunch of fish at a go. Oh.
I've never done that before. I only caught one? X. A. Oh, I did A and B backwards. Like I said, I've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing, so my A and B buttons are flipped. Oh, oh, oh! No, I don't see the gingerbread barracuda. Okay, that's why I only caught one. A is down. Y is up. B is right. A is down. B is right. This is a nice way to batch catch for sure. But I'm probably going through bait so fast. Go oh, X. I can't see A. B. B. A. Uh, is that it right there? Moon eel. I guess I can't. But I'm going to get out of this. I can't see here. Let's see if we can get deeper in ice wall. This might be still too shallow. Maybe here is deeper? It looks like it. Okay, let's try this. A Y. A. B. X. That's a moon eel, isn't it? Yeah. I am keeping all these fish because... Uh, cooking. There's still a lot to cook for me. Unlocking recipes is a really slow process. No, I don't see it. line isn't the best option for this one. Oh, is it only using like one one at a time? Or maybe it doesn't even... Alright, let's just do the regular line. Switch to the other side of the boat. This looks like it might be a little still shallow. Like a mid. see it. And we're 
we're still on the first fish. I hope my crab pots do a lot better than this. Brought shark. I already have them. Alright, I'm gonna do a couple more casts and then I'm gonna just move on to the next area. Although, I did read that you should stick around for different day parts, so maybe we hang around till nighttime for this guy? There was nothing in his entry that said anything about weather or day part to actually catch him at. And you know, the rod isn't always necessary either. I'm gonna switch to the balance lot. Rod. Let me check this again. 19. Poison plug. Alright, let's try balance. Can't see. Here we go. For you. Let's see how much actually let's see how much bait I have. 689. Let's let's go into astral clouds and give that a go. So we are Right here. Okay, so it's right behind us. Okay, so sparkling tide is where I need the most fish. So sparkling tide is past windy ways. Yep. Did anything? Oh, yeah, I'm not there yet. Back up. Here we go. Alright, spark tide. Let's get somewhere that looks pretty deep. 
here. Okay. So we have... Sparkle Tide, Basking Shark, Spider Eye Mermaid, and Star Rosa. Oh, and Shepherd's Bed, which we'll, we'll get to. So, at number five, Basking Shark uses Strong Rod and Plug, also deep water. Number nine, Strong Rod and Plug, also deep water. And Star Rosa. Star Rosa number 14, also Strong Rod and Plug. Uh, I think there's a pattern there. That must be what I didn't, uh, I didn't use. So, strong rod and plug. Oh, I think they are... Daros is a small fish, actually. Masking shark is large, and the butter eye mermaid is medium. So we'll start with the high. We need the strong rod and the plug lure. So in this instance, I'm going to try doing this line lure again. B. Yes. Oh, oh, anything new? I think that's Star Rosa right there. Beep. Oh, there's, there's the undersea spider, which is the spider mermaid. And there is the Star Rosa. We got two right off the bat. Awesome. Okay. Now I'm feeling much better about this. We'll cross off Star Rosa, and we'll cross off the Spider Eye Mermaid. Beautiful. Cast again. Oh, I messed that one up again. Backwards. A is down. Now why? again, the mermaid again. Ah, I bet I messed that one up. A. X. Basking shark. Like. Front. Basking shark. It looks like a brown hammer. That looks like a hammerhead. Luck lure poise rod. What? Is that, is that what I had written down? I had strong and plug. It says strong and plug on the entry, but next to its description, it says plug lure and poise rod in bold blue. So let's switch to the poise rod that I looked at the entry. used to this yet. And I don't see it. again. I don't 
see it again. Let's go straight to fishing it now. That. the side and another line fish night time. Let's see if maybe during the day we have better luck. Check my fish and see if brain feeder. Um, you are. I think I caught something I didn't know. The striped bass. Check my list here. The sage catfish. Oh, that's just in generally astral cloud. So there's another one I caught. Cross off the list. So that's three. Back here, and this is the one. No, this is Atlantic halibut. Like two more pages. Yeah, right here. Basking shark is over on the right, bottom right here, below Raja Skate. Every time I think I know it, I don't. And... no. Let me double check. This is Sparkle Tide. Blood Lure Poise Rod. Deep. All day. Large. Second largest shark in the world. Constantly looks like it's about to speak. Okay. I'm going to switch back. Or not. E. I'm going to switch back to regular fishing.
Ooh. Someone didn't want to get caught. Sorry, I lost it. Ah, oh, great. Let's keep that. Whew. Basking shark. Five on my list. All right, so basking shark, starosa. We got all of these. Boom. Sage catfish. Done. Damsel fin. So now we got to get up to Shepherd's bed and get the dam damsel fin. So let's zoom get out of here. We have to actually go all the way up to where the final boss was. But this one you can't catch until you be beat the game, basically. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we have to go this way. If you try to go this way, it'll shoot you back and you'll wreck your ship on these. I've done it more than once. I'm not proud to say. Hey. The wind really throws you. So if you haven't been out this way to Astral Cloud, Make sure you can um, back your ship up or turn and brake best you can. Um, okay. Now, the Ivory Dawn, which is right here. Oh wait, no. Do we don't- it's, it's through the gate. It's literally through the gate right here. We'll actually pop back over this and then hang a left right at the gate here. This is Shepherd's bed. If I don't wreck myself on the doorway, we're good. This is where the final boss was, is. Oh my gosh, he's still here. Hi, don't mind me. I'm just gonna fish here. The, I think the damselfish is... the damselfin is blue. Number is he on my list? 17, so he's gonna be back a bit. Okay, so we're gonna scroll a bit. Barossa. Damsel yes, he is blue with a little orange underbelly. Are it? Oh, let me actually look at what I need for the rod. Shepherd's bed, medium, boys, and spinner lure. That might be why we're not catching him. We need the spinner lure. I'm surprised I have that much bait left still. Thank you. 
There he is. All right. Pass that one off the list. And we are done in this area. All we need are the crab pots, which are right inside the door. So next we're going to do is the hot springs because, ugh. Thermal geysers in particular. And, uh, yeah, let's go. So it's a pain to get out of here, so I'm actually going to go in here and call my friend to bring me back. Yes. Stock up on a little more bait. If you're looking at me and you're like, wow, she's running really fast. It's one of the perks of um, completing... Well, that didn't shoot very far. Of completing um, projects around the town. I think it might be the 30 grand mark or something. Something up there. I haven't completed the town yet. We'll get there soon. I'm sure I have a bunch of medium fish I could use. And I could also buy the on, um, on boat kitchen. You know what? Let's do that. Because I'm sure I have plenty of medium fish that I could cut up for large for the high quality bait I keep saying large bait but it's high quality bait galley that's the one 300 repair full repair let's do a quick repair just in case because I don't I took any damage out there. So, let's see where we are. Need to go straight east. Literally straight east, and that'll take us right into it. Ready? Oh great, now we have to figure out how to get to them. Right trigger. There's red lobster. Already have that one. Swing to this one. No, I want to pick this one up. Oh, right. Right trigger. Keep. Might have to try somewhere else in the bay. Did I throw that back? I think I did. Alright, I'm gonna put these down somewhere else in the bay. I do have a couple of fish to catch in the border sea. Maybe we'll head that way. Oh, perching isles. I have a fish to catch in perching isles. Who are you? You are... Perching Isles, the Steam Hermit, number 22 on my list, Steam Hermit, Barge, Agile, and Jig. That's deep water also.
think this is deep over here. Perching Isles is a little bit more forward, so let's go closer this way. This looks pretty deep. Alright. We need it. Agile Rod. And... Jig. Size fish? Large. Okay. We'll do our line fish again. Using Song of Storms from Legends of Zelda to get my A straight because Song is A down up, so A down. Yeah. Y. Y and X are easy because it's what the Y axis and the X axis are. switch to doing the straight fishing because that worked for us for the basking shark. Excited we completed the astral cloud area. As far as fishing goes, crab pots are another story. quick. Team Hermit. It's pretty low on my list. I'll look to see if I can find the entry for it. Gaming Hermit. That's what it's called. Oh, this is another one where it shows strong and jig. Here, I'll, I'll show you. It shows strong and jig here, but it actually has jig and agile rod at the top. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. I had a feeling it was going to be something like that. Agile rod. We have the jig lure. What? I do have the agile rod equipped. Okay. Well, let's just see if it's a daytime thing. Sunfish. Let's drop some of these things. Okay, so we are a bit closer to Pershing Isle. Well, this is pretty 
close to the shore here. Speaking of Zelda, we got some Zelda tunes happening. fish, but not the one I'm looking for. I think I'm gonna stop there for now on that one. I do have a couple at the border sea. Yeah, well, let's go to the hot springs and get those out of the way. right here. And our crab pots are ready. Primate pincher, that's the monkey crab. Boom. Where were you on my list? Monkey crab, number 20. There's one.
a shade crawler. That is the mango crab, if I remember correctly. I'm gonna double verify that. Yeah, the alley mango crab. Normally caught in shallow steam, so it's nice to catch it over here. And again, the monkey crab. Alright, so of our crabs, we caught two here. We got the monkey crab. And the mango crab. We need demon crab and sand crab. Demon claw crab. Just hot springs. Sand crab. The cold sand crab. No, I can't find it on my list. Hold on, where is it from? The very end. Not seeing it. Oh, sandy claw crab. That's it. Hot springs, deep, small. Boys, okay. This is the deepest point we can get here. Maybe Twin Tail Lake? Twin Tail Lake is technically part of uh, Hot Springs. Pretty deep right here. Oh wait, and is it? This guy's small, so let's throw it down some low-level bait. And the demon claw crab is large, so we'll do a couple of each. Another low, and then we'll do high bait here. High bait here. Okay, I'm out of crab pots. So, in thermal geysers. We are looking for the thermal geysers in particular. There is four. The grinning musky is number one, and that's a strong with plug, taupe, agility, plug. Circle these so I can see them on here. The boiling, I think it's the boiling blubberfish or something like that. Poison spinner. And then we're also looking for. The curlfin tuna, which is poison jig. So these are all kind of different. So I think what we're going to start with is just one of those, and then we're going to go and give it a, a multiple line. We're going to make our way back. Left. I didn't even change the rod. Things to the right. Oh. Let's... We are looking at... medium, large, medium, and large fish. So we're gonna stick to... Oh, I have low quality bait on. I bait. We'll start with the strong rod and the plug lure. Let's do these in order. 
like I said, the unless it's like bold and highlighted in blue on your journal, the rod type doesn't really matter so much. Oh, you are... I think I recognize all of those. Oh, taupe! There it is! Four. Hot. Couple of those. And see, that one was an agility plug, so it really only mattered about the lure type in this, this situation. He is to the right. Whoops. A is down. Is up. Alligator, shark, rice, fish. Fang thief. Fang thief is the musky. The grinning musky. Barcode bass. Another taupe. Hey, this is the sea, um, the sand, sand cleaner. Also hot springs. This one was actually just on hot spring in general. Let's keep that before I lose it. Pull this up. We got the sand cleaner. Thank you, the Grinning Musky and the Taupe. Boom. So we got the Grinning Musky. The other one we were looking for is the Boiling Blubber Fish or something like that. Let's poise and spin. So let's change our over to the spinner. Fish? I think I have rabbit fish already. Coily fry, that is the curl fin tuna. Boom. Was weird the curl fin tuna requires a jig lure and a poise rod neither of which i have equipped Down. anything look different there's the curl fin again i'm gonna hook the right rod for this one. This is the boiling blubber fish. Say right rod, but we don't even know. Boys and spinner. Actually, I'm gonna double check its entry and make sure. Some of these have been wrong. Yes, spinner lure strong rod. This one has a bold blue as well. Spinner lure, strong rod. I bait. I'm gonna try straight casting for a little bit. Come 
Come on. Boiling bubbler fish, not blubber, bubbler fish. <laughs> Maybe it was just mad I was saying its name wrong this whole time. Blisterback Boxer is the boiling bubbler fish. Done. Let's pull up our list again. Boiling bubbler. Pearl tuna is done. Okay, we're done with thermal geysers. We just need resting crag, which is to the south of the twin fish lake. And then the daisy fin, which is shallow steam. I'm telling you, I caught daisy fin um, in resting crag before. So let, we're going to start there. And I say I caught it before and I don't have it now because shortly thereafter I got stuck right here in shallow steam. I came in and got stuck like literally right on this little... And there was like no getting out of it, even using the unstick yourself feature didn't work, so we're gonna go south. Oh yeah, I lost, I lost. It's called the Peach's sister, or sister Peach. You guys are huge. We're in the resting crag. The resting crag. Who are you again? The Mahi Mahi. So the Mahi Mahi takes poison spinner. Let me just double check that with the listing, make sure this isn't another weird one. Mahi. No, it's not. It is Poison Spinner. Large fish, deep water. Which, I think this is as deep as you can really get over in the Resting Crag. So we're gonna start... Let's actually... Make sure we have the Poison Spinner. Poise, Spinner, I Bait. Right there, the Mahi Mahi. Okay, that was easier than I thought. So the Daisy Fish takes Agile and Plug. Let me switch that to the Plug Lure. Agile and Plug and Daisy Fish is medium. So we'll keep on the high bait and we'll do a couple casts here. Sorry if that was too loud. That's it. I knew I caught it before here. That's it right there, the sister Peach. If you get it, Mario, Peach's sister is Daisy. Yeah, I know. So, we're crossing these off. Mahi Mahi is done. Wow, we're doing really great in these other ones. It's the Bay Area and the glaciers that are giving us a Trouble. So yeah, Mahi Mahi and Daisy Fin are done. We just need the, the crabs. So next we're gonna head on over to the glaciers. Their crab pots should be done. Although we're over 
We're over by Astroplad, so let's go check those crab pots. Oh, you know what? Before anything happens, let's go ahead and save right now. Oh, where am I going? Not this way. quest over in here, don't I, still? No. Must have caught it. Whatever the quest was. Oh, I have one over in Ivory Dawn. The antenna grouper. I caught all of them over there. I don't know what that one's supposed to be. crab pots right here just literally right in here there's a lot of them too so fingers crossed okay that is the glass One down. Also the last crab. Might need to put these in different zones. Oh, Arlequin shrimp. I already have that one, I'm certain. That's not on my list of things I need to catch. Really? Okay. Let's move further in. I 
I'll drop a couple in, in windy ways. We'll go up to Sparkle Tide, drop a couple, Floating Stones, and Ivory Dawn. Let's just do it that way. Oh, put me down, put me down! What on earth? This game. Bugs in this game are bar none. <laughs> Alright, stop. Do that there. And then we go to the right. Waiting to if we should put one in Shepherd's bed. Why not? It's like right here. goes what is happening back from whence we came hello there nope we gotta go behind along the wall please. Alright, we're in Ivory Dawn, so go ahead and drop the rest of our Things here. All right, we're in the crab pots. Okay, so we got a couple there, a couple there. We could try the ice wall, icy wall again. All we got from there was the glass crab. And there's quite a few still. That's why I'm thinking they're further up. Glass crab. Alright, um, we still do need the uh, glaciers area. Let's. We actually we're gonna do our trick back to uh, the port because I hate navigating out of here. take a break for a second and add some stuff to our uh, machine.
Because I know some of these things I caught are very expensive. Oh, like the glass crab is 405. And I caught 16 of them. We only need to turn in one. Uh, I'll sell 12. You're 107. You're 298, Harlequin Shrimp. Okay. You're 216. Oh, Mario RPG. I love it. Oh, the basking shark, but I need that. 270. The one right next to it was 202. That one I need to turn in, though, so I'm just gonna wait. Oh, the marshmallow fish. Yeah, we'll put all of them there. I also have my fish sign active. So these fish will go for like 10% more. 202, and I have 10 of these. I've already turned this one in, so. And I saw the Star Rosa here. One. The trope? Well, this is the, the one that you catch in Shepherd's Bed. Damsel fin. Almost a thousand a piece. Man, if you need money, just multiple lines and fish up there. Mahi mahi, we need. It's not open yet. Going to uh, trade in some bait because these. Oh, so many. So, so far today we caught two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. Pretty exciting. It opens at seven. Okay. But I don't think we're going to actually get to the 100%, which makes me sad. I'll have to change the thumbnail when I'm done with this episode. I'm going to actually turn in what I have currently. You are. Hey! Hey! I got some stuff for you. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and oh, I caught this one. That's the Alila petal. You catch that at the border sea. I didn't realize I caught it. Incredible, over 130. 20 unique species remaining. Yeah, there's 151 total. For me, it's a lot of crabs. <laughs> Let's pull up our word doc. So this Alile petal thing, that's what I caught. And let's take a look at these here. So, taupe and basking shark. The brain feeder, which is actually the sage catfish. 
Fang Thief, the Grinning Muskie. It's the beginning. Mahi Mahi is in. Beautiful. Undersea Spider is that mermaid. Got these both. Very cool. Fallen Star is the Starosa. Speaking Salad is that. Oh, yeah, there it is. Rope, Sister Peach. This is exciting. Primate picture is the, mon the monkey crab. Still a few more to go. Last crab. And that's it. minor repair just in case. I got thrown around a bit there. Oh. Alright, so we are going to go and check our crab pots over here in the frosted skates. And then I've got a couple fish to catch. Frosted skates and open chill. So we'll try those next. So we have to go north. Okay, just about there. drop three here, so let's hope for the best. Nice lobster. I already have. Nice lobster. We need, it's called the Trident Lobster. It says glaciers, so I wonder if we should try closer to gl the broken glaciers. But anyway, we do need something in the frosted skates. King mackerel, number eight on my list. The king mackerel is a large fish, strong and plug. And I'm actually gonna check this in the book to make sure it's not one of those misprints. I say misprint, but it this is one thing, but you really need something else to get it. Okay, so this Mackerel, here it is. Oh, it is. Okay, so frosted skates, strong and plug. Strong and plug and high bait. Before we start, let me go prep some high quality bait here. I think that's what this is for, mainly. Okay, so we could definitely use the anvil grunt. Look. Oh, there's no... 
It's a bummer that it's not, there's no auto yet. Okay, we're up to 62. Bunch of these. Fish time. Uh, might be it. Archer fish. I already have it. King mackerel. That's it. Well, that was easy. Cross king mackerel off the list. Frosted Skates is done. So we need the Atlantic Halibut and the Saucy Eel and Open Chill. Open Chill is right next door, so we're gonna head that way. Straight to the west. Open. All right, so Atlantic Halibut is strong in Plug, and the other one is the Saucy Eel, and that's strong in Jig. So we'll start with definitely get the strong rod out, but we'll start with the Plug. Plug is on, strong. Okay, we're good to go. And large fish. Saucy Eel is a small fish, so we'll see. We'll see about that one. of the sea. That's the saucy eel. <laughs> Got one. And I'm using the plug, not the jig that this one requires. So it says it requires. Hands down. I think I'm going to switch to just straight casting now. Give it a go a couple of times, and if it doesn't work, we'll check to make sure that this is the correct, that there's no, no like, bold blue text on this entry.
after this cast. If I don't catch it, I'll take a look. The Atlantic Halibut is actually really early on in the book. Settling matters of honor, one would demand satisfaction by using the halibut to slap one's transgressor across the face. Okay. The strong, plug, and deep. And I'm pretty certain we are all of those things right now. Strong, plug, and high quality bait. Alright, this guy is a large fish. We're getting into nightfall. And even though there's not really a day-night cycle, it's weather of what's chosen for these. Um, I still think some are easier to catch during day or night. So we'll hang out here, enjoy the music. Whoa, 15,000? I think I have enough to finish the town. into here a little bit. I don't know if it matters so much, but, uh... Do a little more line fishing. Animal Crossing, the Atlantic Halibut kind of looks like the flounder. It's like that flat looking fish. So that's what I'm looking for when these pull up. Hey! There it is! Boom! Atlantic Halibut and the Saucy Eel done. So now we just need the Trident Lobster and the Ginger Barracuda. The, it's the Gingerbread Barracuda. Alright. We're getting close to being done with all of our fishable fish. And the rest will be caught with crab pots. Uh, let's go... Did I not throw my crab pots down yet? I did not. Let's do that. I 
know, we could always sleep too and let them do their thing and then wake up in the morning and try again. I think I only had three, yeah. Let's try that. My character is pretty tired. Now let's go to the night and then we'll sleep again until the morning. to the glaciers to try that one. I think I can smash through this one. Yeah. Okay, I've already done all this. Yeah, we'll get here in broken glaciers. The deepest part of it is like right here. Alright, let's try this. And this. Lobster, did I write down what size it is? I didn't. Let me look on the book here. Way at the end. Okay, sure. No, trident. Trident lobster, it's green. It's a medium fish. Uh, let's try some... Uh, smaller bait in here then. I'll do one with small bait and then two with large. Okay. Now let's check our other crab pots down here. We're going south. Yep, so we're just going straight. Oh. No. No. Hey, Groundhog Sea Bug. This is the Forget which lobster it is. Might be a shrimp too. The chompy wood shrimp. Movie so chomp shrimp. That one's done. We still need the rowing. Permit the spider crab and the conch crab, the bay. So we'll try another bay area. We'll head south and head to Border Sea.
sure we get somewhere like nice and deep. And the crab and the spider crab, I believe, are larger. Spider crab is medium, and crab, conch crab looks weird, also medium. Can I throw more than one off this side? Yeah, I can. Okay. We could just throw them in batches. Great. Now, we need to check the crab pots over here. Normal geysers. So, let's head over. And then we'll start uh, looking at the icy wall again, trying to catch that gingerbread barracuda. Ooh, ooh, let's back up. Our turn. We want to go straight east and then hug the wall up. We're going in the right direction. Go. Yeah. Now that I know I can just drop them all in one go, I'm, I'm gonna just do that from now on. Hey, there's our sand. And we're looking for our demon one. Camel shrimp. Okay, so we got our sand sand crab. We still need the demon crab. Let me save it. Thinking about it. Okay, so we tried down here. We do resting crag. We try putting them up in shallow steam, which sounds like a pain. But if demon crab is actually in are you deep water, so he would not be up here in shallow steam. So, let's try down here in Rusting Crag. Resting crag isn't terribly deep either, but it's worth a shot. And we'll nap here. There are a lot of uh, net spots here, though. Okay. And you are a large crab, so we definitely need the high bait. Oh wow, you can just throw them in. I love it. Okay. I'm, a, I'm bummed if we didn't know that sooner. Throw them in, sleep, try again. Uh, actually, 
actually 21 is only it is nine so we'll go nine the next day go nine the next day again Here again. Maybe somewhere around here or back here. This is the easier way to do the crab fishing. Just drop the pots and then go to bed. Oh, to get this way, I think we're actually gonna need to go a long way. Can I drop crab pots out of... Let's see. Dog, you're in my way. I can, but I can't sleep. A bummer. All right, let's reconsider this. I try Twin Tail Lake again. I try Thermal Geysers. Let's try Thermal Geysers again. Creepy, creepy crab. All right. So we got our demon crab and our sand crab. Our hot springs is done. We are so close. So close. Okay. This is what we're going to do for the um, crab stuff again. So let's go to astral clouds and actually let's save this because I don't want to do that again. is right here. try my best to get this game 100% as far as fishing goes before I 
I went right by it. We still need the icy wall fish up here. Let's give him another go. Seems to be like the deepest part here. So this is our gingerbread barracuda. Number 19 on my list, it's Poise and Plug. Let me check his listing. I didn't do that before. Gingerbread Barracuda, Plug Lure, Poise Rod. Okay, so this one's different. I can't remember if I knew that before. So, Plug Lure, Poise Rod. Poise, Plug. He is a large fish. We'll do a couple of these types of catches, the multi catch, and then we'll go from there. Oh, wow. All anvil grunts. side. Oh, uh. I was just thinking like, oh, I have those crab pots. I could put those down here while we're fishing. Let me actually do that. I think this is going to be like the basking shark where we just have to just keep going. This is the deepest spot, unless you get down here, but I don't know if this is considered the icy wall anymore. Let's do our sleep and we'll check our crab pots and see if we can get this trident lobster. shrimp. 
Okay. Let's back up. Go south a bit. Swag strats. Alright, let's try like the deepest. This is probably like the deepest part of Icy Wall. But now we're in Waking Storm. Icy Wall. Okay, we'll try this. We'll drop our crab pots again. that way. Uh, camera turn. There we go. Check this listing again and voice plug. I'm going to try Agile. Try some line fishing again. Only like getting three over here. back to the boys rod again lug lure which fish would be the bane of my existence today, and it's this gingerbread barracuda. Alright, 
we're gonna sleep again. Check on our crab pots, and then we'll go back north in this icy wall. finish the 100% in this stream. I really do. I was intending to be done at like 3.30. It's already 3.06. I don't think I'm gonna finish in time. Not if this barracuda gives me this kind of grief. Oh, it's raining. is actually from the bay. That's that weird looking one. The conch crab. Okay, so I'm actually in the bay area then. Okay. Well, at least we got something. Conch crab. Boom. I just want to verify that picture, though, before I cross that one off my list. Yeah, just the conch crab. We still need to do the border sea. Okay. So if this is telling me this is Bay Area, and we need to go back north again, the icy wall. This is the only icy wall, right? There's... I mean, is this an icy wall? But this is literally named icy wall, so... I'm gonna go back in here. Here. Uh, first, we'll drop our crab pots. No. No, I don't want to do that. Let's just fish. We're just gonna we're just gonna fish. It's raining. It's a different weather system. Who knows? Maybe we'll get better luck here. casts and I want to feel more productive so we're gonna go into the astral clouds and work on our crab pots there if I don't catch it in five more casts we'll go do that one.
All right, we're out. Pass it? No, it's right here. No, it's not. I passed it. Okay, so all my crab pots are okay. So we have two in Windy Ways, a bunch in Spark Tide, and up in Ivory Dawn, and a couple in Shepherd's Bed. So we'll see what we get with those, and then we'll plan from there. Uh, what are you doing? Stop moving, boat. You are. Have are you? Cloud filled. So this is the cloud crab. Cloud. Studded lobster. That one is the unicorn lobster, I believe. So there's two. That was a quick one, two punch. Now we gotta get over to Sparkle. Can't see, so we gotta zoom out a bit. Turn the other way. one again. Ooh, prismatic pincher. That's the rainbow crab. Just double checking the picture. Rainbow hoof crab. That is the one. And crossing that one off. Rainbow crab. So we just need the fairy shrimp. The heart and the heart crab. Still another one of them. Right, yeah. Oh. Okay. Now we actually have to make a hard turn here. And then Shepherd's Bed is right here, so we'll go grab those two. Oh, let me in. Our big friend in here. Harlequin Shrimp. Happen. Okay. Honestly, there's no shortage of bugs in this game, and I am no longer surprised by anything, really. I shouldn't be surprised by anything, really, that happens. Alright, so the rest are to Ivory Dawn.
Buckler Shrimp, I have that one. You are new. See, this is the... Fairy shrimp. Fairy shrimp. Okay, now we just need the heart crab. So, fairy shrimp, rainbow crab, cloud, unicorn, lobster, done. We just have the heart crab left here. Our list is getting so small. Three, six, seven, eight. We're under ten left. Okay, so the only place we haven't tried really is floating stones here. I don't know if we put any in windy ways, so we'll try floating stones. And we're just going to do our trick where we just drop them and call the night for a few days. Get up over this way. Okay, so this is floating stones. Get right in the middle. We are going to actually let me check to see the heart crab is what's left let me see what size crab this thing is heart crab is small okay so let's try the small bait on this one and we'll just no keep popping these in here until we run out of them There's a party there. All right, now we're gonna sleep for like three days. I miss it one in the afternoon, so do six. Go check on them. Nope, oh, one more day. Fingers crossed. No. 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 Come on, heart shrimp. Or heart crab. That's a bust. Let's go try Windy Ways. I think that's the only one I haven't done. Windy Ways. I think we dropped them all in Spatial Gate or Spatial Gates before. So let's, let's go that way. We're actually gonna have to go this way. Turn.
Oh, uh, no. Uh, hope that didn't break my ship too much. I always forget that there's that current there that just yanks your boat. Anyways. Okay. I think here looks good. It's a nice dark color here. Um. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna keep going with the low. It's 9 in the morning, so we'll do this 6 a.m. three times. Is that three? I think so. All right. Fingers crossed. No. Back to bed again. heart crab and we are done with astral cloud ah all right that's two biomes done yay devotion crawler aka the heart crab all right so i'm gonna cheat my way back aka call abby Ooh. Does she just take a percentage of what I currently have? I think that's what she does. morning. I do want to drop off the fish I have. Actually, let's save the game while we're thinking about it. Oh, it did save when I went to bed, but still. Is yes. So we've got you, 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 and all of our crab pot friends from the underworld and the stuff of legend. We are- that's over 140 unique species. Yeah, there's like literally seven. Pull up our list here. Heart crab is done. So we've got three, five, six, seven. A ginger barracuda is gonna be the death of me, I just know it. So we can try the bay and get these three knocked out. So we need to get back down to border, border sea and the perching isles. Actually, I like looking at the, f the fish when this goes in. It's two.
Beautiful. King mackerel is in. Halibut. And that's it, man. We're getting so close. So close. Let's hop back on our boat. So I have... I do have some crab pots here. I'm just gonna grab them so we can do it all in one go. Oh, yeah. Let's go this way. North and a little bit to the east. So there's the trident lobster that we're trying to get in the ice biome. Okay, so I went one gate too far. Oh, I heard the bell. We're getting close. Paddler. I have that one before. I may have been one of the bay fish I was looking for. The hidden paddler. You are. That must be one of the bay ones. The rowing hermit. Yes, it is a bay one. We can cross that one off the list. Okay. Let's head down for these. Now we have like 20 of these crab pots to use. Although I haven't tried getting crabs in Azure. What is this place called? Azure Crossing. Let's try dropping some here. So who do we have left? The Rowing Hermit we just got. So the... The Chomp Shrimp. That's the Wood Chomp Shrimp, right? And cross that one off. Yeah, Chompy Wood Shrimp. You're done. We just need the spider crab. Okay, we are a lot closer done than I thought we were. The spider crab. Or the back here. He's a big guy. He's a medium. Bay waters. And the other one we need is the trident lobster, which is the glacier area. It says glaciers, which is the only time I've seen it. So it brings the map. I think that is like the whole cold area. What? There's no way. My D-pad and uh, joystick just switched again. Okay, that is so strange. A couple episodes ago in my Let's Play series of this game, I gave some ahi tuna to the mayor's wife, and all of a sudden, I could no longer use the control stick. I could only use the D-pad. So I beat the game with the D-pad, and then all of a sudden, my D-pad doesn't work anymore. It's literally back to joystick. This game. I say the bugs never cease to amaze me in this game, but they still do.
Okay, we're border C. We're getting close to... Okay, we gotta go around this. Okay, I hear the crab pot bell. Hoping for some luck. Come on, spider crab! Get a little closer. You know where we haven't tried is Waking Storm. Okay, so now that I'm at Border C, we are looking for the sailfish. And this is a large fish, so we'll need the large bait. Let's see how our, our bait is. Can you not let go? Thank you. It's back to the D-pad. Are you kidding me? This is saying sailfish strong and spinning. Getting low. Just gonna look this guy up in the book again. Sailfish, sailfish, you are pretty early on. You are after the mahi mahi and before the king mackerel. Fish. Okay. No, this is telling me spinner, lure, strong, rod. Is that what I wrote down? Yeah, it is. Okay. But the, um, the text on the bottom. Here, I'll show you guys. It says border C, or it says agile here and spinner, but then up here it says spinner and strong rod. It does that for quite a few entries. So this is what I have, the strong rod and the spinner lure. We're gonna do a couple line fishes. Looking for basically a swordfish. I don't see that. Start just straight line fishing. Okay. Let's give it a go. That's it! Oh, you better get here. No, come here. Ah, oh, and I lost it. I, I panicked and let go of the button. I was trying to press the left trigger instead of the right trigger. But that's it, so we know what we're doing here. Okay, you're back. There it is. Boom. Sailfish. Done. We're gonna save. I'll let go. And we're gonna save. Okay. Sailfish. Done. So we are out. Need to go back to Perching Island. And yeah, we only have, what, two actual fish to catch. The Steam Hermit. Steaming Hermit, I believe. Wait a minute. Steaming Hermit. Is that a fish or is that a... 
What number are you? 22. Between the chomp shrimp and the fairy shrimp. Hermit. You know, it looks like a fish. It's another one of those jig lure agile rod. All right, so let's head to the perching aisles. This one's deep water. Let's swim out into here, so a little bit south. This looks pretty deep. I'm actually gonna drop a bunch of crab pots now. We're getting low on high quality bait, which we can make more. Lot of these now, don't I? I think I have all of them again. All right, time to fish. Oh, actually, let's get the right lure and rod, jig and agile rod, agile rod and jig. We need more bait. Because this is a large fish, so we definitely. The larger bait. Anvil grunt. Because I catch so many of you trying to get that barracuda. I don't understand why there's not an auto cook for the large. There is for the small, but there isn't for the high quality bait. It doesn't make sense because you don't need a star rating for bait. Do another round. I have so many of these things. Switch sides of the boat. That's 
of Wooly. We're looking for a big, like, grain orange behemoth. A of Wooly. Closer and try over here, but let's do our at time and hope for crabs in three days. Oh. Pay attention to something real quick. So it's day 86, 6 a.m. Okay, that's what I was doing wrong. You actually have to come out here, let it pass five minutes, and then go back in. I thought it was 24 hours, so I was wondering why it was taking me three days. Looking for the spider crab. Come on, spider crab. No, nope. I'll try waking storm next. I got a lot of lobster. Alright. Oh, there's still more. So we are still trying to get the steaming hermit crab or that's not a crab, it's a fish. Let's get closer this way. We still want really deep water. Try on like the south side of this. Okay. Let's try out here. I need to double check that I have the right stuff equipped. Agile jig. Gaming hermit is agile and jig. Okay. Arching aisles. Large. I bait. Try it again. So he does have another rod listed near him, which is the strong rod. If I don't do a couple more casts, and if I don't get him, I'm gonna just switch to the strong. Alright, last one, I'm gonna switch to strong. Uh, 
I'm getting frustrated with this one. Head up to Waking Storm. We'll try some crab pots. But this stream's running really long already. I was going to be done at 3.30. It's like 3.47. I really wanted to make the 100%. I have like four left. Waking Storm and Lonely Rock. Spider crab. Give it 24 hours. Go for 6 a.m. Sleep till 9. And then we'll sleep to 6 again. This is the one I'm supposed to catch in the glaciers. I caught it in Waking Storm. Ah, oh, the Trinut Lobster. Yay! Okay, there's one. Okay, Spider Crab. Take a look at the Trident Lobster. He is done. Literally three left. The Gingerbread Barracuda, the Steaming Hermit, and the Spider Crab. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I save it here. Wait, do I have more crab pots here? Ah, I do. Like I thought I saw something underneath my boat. No spider crab though. Okay, so we tried Waking Storm. We haven't tried Lonely Rock. Moon Glow Bay only really gave us red. 
Oh, we haven't tried the hidden lake either. Okay, we got about 10 minutes. Let's go down, try Lonely Rock. Literally just straight south where we are. Want to be in deep water. Okay, and we need I bait. We have to make some more if we don't catch them in this round. all 21 of them. We sleep to six. We do six, and then nine, and then six, because if you do six and then six again, it keeps you on the same day, because it's like, oh, you're already at six. And we need 24 hours to go by. again. Alright. Fingers crossed. Give me spider crab. Red Lobster. I mean, not even if Red Lobster is where you go. Okay. So we are going to do the hidden lake. a little bit. Here we go. A lot of trash around Hidden Lake. We're in a deep part here. I think I need to make more bait. Okay. Like Atlantic mackerel, you're up.
do six again. Nine and six. And back to six. Oh, come on, spider crab. This is not looking promising. I have red lobster for days now. All right. Uh, let's head back. Fortunately, I think this is where I'm going to have to end the stream. Not quite a hundred percent. We are three fish shy. Donate what we have. And then I'll show you guys my book. Each here some. Pause if you did take some notes. There's our sailfish. And that's it. We are missing three. So I think I'm gonna have to redo the thumbnail on here and be like 99% that we got close. But this is where I, I need to end the stream. I've been playing for three hours. We got close. We went from 34 down to three. So yay. Let's actually pull up my notes here. Yep. We are down to three. The spider crab, the steaming hermit, and the gingerbread barracuda. This is my nemesis. But yeah, uh, I think I'll actually catch those on their own, and then when we the next video I do, it'll be like we're going to the the aquarium and turning them in for the 100%. I also have enough money to 100% the rest of this town, so I'll probably do the same thing in that episode as well. All right, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I will be sure to be doing timestamps in the description for all these fish I caught. Knock on wood. It's a lot of footage for me to go through, but I will give it a go. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.